Hi there, it's Peter here again, the guy who hates tomatoes but loves front end development. In this video you will learn how to calculate the height of an element to complete this collapsible component. The final approach that we will take is to calculate the height and then animate the height itself. Okay, so no, no max height. As you know from the previous video, that's not the most accurate and flexible approach. So comment that out and we will uncomment the last one, JS calculated height, because that is the most accurate. Okay, save the file. And as you can see here, we only animating the transition height in 0.3 seconds. And we're not setting any height inside of the CSS. That's what we will need to do in the JavaScript. Let's jump to the collapsible JS. And the first thing we'll do, what we essentially need to do is to get the height of the panel body. Okay, so we need to get into the DOM, get the height of that, because that's based on the children inside of it. And to be able to access it, we need to give it a ref equals inner. Okay, this will give us the access to the DOM element and we can calculate the height. Okay, so firstly, we'll console log the height of that ref element by typing this.refs.inner.client height. And this should give us the true height of the content of this element. So let's make sure this works in a browser. Save it. And if we inspect the element, we'll see that the panel body when we expand it is rendering for us the right height. Okay, so this is the this refs inner client height. As you can see, this is different for all three of these elements because the content inside of it has a different length. Okay, so this is the correct measurements and we will save it into the state. So we'll create a new property on the state and we'll call it height and paste the this refs dot inner dot client height. Now we will set it into the state to be able to access it inside of the render method. We will type in comma and height where we're destructuring the this state and then we'll create a new constant. We'll call it current height and that will be based on the is expanded state. And if the expanded state is true, then we're setting the height to the height. And if it's false, we're setting it to zero. Okay, so we will toggle the height. And as you know, in the CSS, we do the transition. And the last remaining piece is we need to apply the current height to the panel collapse. Okay, so we'll use the style. And inside of curly braces, we need to type in another set of curly braces because we're passing this as an object and we're setting the height to current height plus string pixels. Okay, so this will set the height in pixels for us on the panel collapse. And that is essentially all we need in the JavaScript. If I save it, refresh the page, then by default, we'll see the panel collapse to have a height zero. And if I click on it, it expands to the height 306. Okay, so the animation is happening in the CSS, the transition height 0 0.3 seconds with ease out is the CSS transition. And as you can see, it works for the smaller items as well. Okay, all of them take 0 0.3 seconds. Doesn't matter how much content there is inside of it. And to prove that, we will go back to the FJS we will make the first element very short. And then inside of the last one, we type in lorem 300. That will give us a long content. And when we save it and view it in the browser, you see that the transition still works, even for the one line of text, couple lines of text, and a long chunk of content inside of the software collapsible feature. Okay, so this is how you create collapsible element and expand it based on the content inside of it by calculating the right height and animating between zero 
and a correctly calculated height. To quickly recap what we've done in this video, firstly we disabled the max height CSS and then we enabled another block of CSS where we have a panel collapse with a transition where we transitioning the height and then inside of the JavaScript we added the ref inner to give us access to the panel body so we can calculate the height and set it to the state. So this refs.inner dot client height gives us the right height of that element we saving it to the state then we taking it out of the state and setting new current height based on the is expanded state it's either the height or zero and then we applying inline styles to the parent of the inner to the panel collapse and we passing in inside of the curly braces as an object height equals current height in pixels. Okay, so this is how you create flexible height expanding elements by using a mix of React and CSS. This is it for this video. Don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. Until next time, happy coding! Bye!